how often do you give yourself permission to just stop? To just stop what you're doing and just be. And be aware of what it is that you actually need. And then go after and give yourself what you need. Hi, I'm Danielle Jaworski. I am a success coach and visibility consultant for women over 40 who are really looking to create the success that they envision for themselves at this stage of their career or business. I'm talking today about this idea about awareness or giving, first of all, giving yourself permission to just stop. So often we have this mindset. It could be corporate culture. It could be your own mindset around the fact that we have to always keep doing and moving forward. Especially if you have these big, say, dream goals that you want to consistently work forward and towards, we almost sometimes feel propelled to just keep going. The flip side of the just keep going is what happens when you aren't fueling yourself in a way that you need to be fueled. This is coming from, um, I had a conversation this morning. I was on a live summit with Tracy Borson. And the conversation was introverted versus extroverted brands. I am introvert at heart. I'm really more like an ambivert um, or omnivert kind of sitting in the middle. I can be introverted when I need to be. That's how I recoup and re rejuvenate myself. But I also do very extroverted things, which just fuel me. Being on TV, doing videos like this, very extroverted kind of activity, but just fuels me. I've had to learn over time though, that in order to really put myself out there to operate in certain ways, I had to also take the time and stop. Going into this summit, I, I, I was already super busy, not going to complain, not going to complain, but in order to make sure that I was prepared for the summit and I was rejuvenated for it, to be out there, putting myself out there, I was actually in bed at seven o'clock last night. Not only, did I have an awareness that I was starting to get tired of what I needed in order to operate effectively and what my body was also telling me. Not only did I have the awareness, but I gave myself the permission to just stop. Believe me, the mindset was going like, oh, but you've got so much you need to do. You've got all the like, posts or different things. You got to like, nope, nope. Over time and also learning it the hard way. I've learned to be much more aware of what it is that I need in order to fuel myself to keep going, to even take that next step or that consistent step towards what it is that I want. I've become aware, but I've also learned how to give myself permission. Even if a part of me is fighting it, I've learned to give myself the permission to give myself what it is that I need in order to keep moving forward. At the end of the day, I know if I give my person, myself permission to do what I need, it means I can better support and serve other people. I'm fueled. As a leader, your employees are giving so much of themselves, of their time, their resources, their energy. What is something that you could do or you could you know, become more aware of to better understand if your employees are giving so much how can you also make sure that they're also giving back to themselves and giving them per self, themselves permission to also stop? I know, it seems like a really hard concept. Uh, like, how do we just stop? And it's definitely a habit of us to just continually keep going forward. The flip side, though, is those things like, like burnout and disengagement. And it could show up as errors, higher errors not just more overtime, but what are things that you could be doing to one, become more aware of what it is that you need to refuel yourself. And then as an individual, as a leader, what can you be doing to help others or yourself to give yourself the permission to just stop? It will look different for you than anybody else because you're unique, you're you but how can you become more aware of what it is that you need? How, what can you do to change your perceptions, your habits, your behaviors, to give yourself the time and the awareness to just stop? When your cup is full, and we talk about this all the time, again, it's easier to talk about than sometimes do, 
when our cup is full, when you give yourself that permission to just stop, you bring more of yourself to yourself and to others when you do show up. So how are you showing up right now? How do you want to be showing up? And then how can you be more aware of what you need in order to achieve what it is that you want? And then how can you give yourself the permission when you need to, to just stop?